What is going on everyone? Happy Wednesday. That's right. New comic book day is today and I'm dropping a new video for you guys and this is my comic book investment update. That's right. My personal investment that I put in so far into investing in comics and how much money I've seen in return of flipping those comics. Now I thought of this idea because A, I told you guys I would be 100 transparent with the amount of money I'm putting in and how much money I've made so that way you guys can make your own choice on if you want to try something of this nature, comic book investing and flipping. And also because I have a big mail call to do, I have to drop these books off at the uh, post office before I go pick up my kids from school. Now I'm going to take a seat. I made a little spreadsheet with some numbers that I can go over with you guys. So yeah, let's jump in over to the desk. Jump in over. Let's jump to the desk and go over those numbers. All right, guys, I am behind the desk. I got my laptop with my little handy dandy spreadsheet open with all my numbers built into it, ready to talk to you guys, giving you guys the download of what I've spent and what I have made so far. Really exciting stuff, really kind of eye opening as well. So, what is the first book that I invested in? Well, the first book that I invested in was Department of Truth number one. And I was actually very lucky. My shop bought a lot of these and he sat on them. And when the news broke that the show was going to be made into a TV show or a movie, I reached out to my LCS. I'm like, hey, Chuck, do you have any more of the cover A um, issue number one? He's like, yeah, I got a bunch. And I was like, well, can I take 10? He gave me 10. And I was like, hey, Chuck, do you have 20 more? Um, and he was able to give me uh, 10 more copies of cover A and 10 copies of cover B. So in grand total, I have 20 copies of cover A and 10 copies of cover B. For a grand total of money spent from me, because he charged me cover price for these books, was $119.70. A great investment so far, especially when these books are now selling on eBay upwards of $45. Of the 30 books, I am holding five back to submit to CGC, because I believe they are 9.8 candidates, and I want to hold on to these right until the trailer for the movie slash TV, sh um, TV show comes out, because that's when you can normally make your best um, return on the book. So I'm hoping to make a big return with those books. Now the other 25 I have up um, listed, not uploaded, listed on eBay. Um, and I have sold 11 so far, uh, which is great in my opinion. Some of these books, um, if you check the online listings are being sold for 45 plus dollars. I did not list for that because I did list, list some of my books for $45 and they were not moving. So I dropped my listings down to $30. Um, and so far, I have sold 11 um, and I did sell some for less because they were a little beat up. From these listings, I have made $300. So we take the 300, we minus the $119.70 um, and I have left over $180.30. Not too shabby, right? Well, let's take a step back. So I've also spent $52.87 on um, Gemini mailers because I want to make sure that the books that I am selling go out um, in brand new mailers. No, I don't, they don't have to be brand new, but I bought brand new mailers. Um, I also spent $27.35 on bubble, um, bubble wrap and tape, um, which leaves me, after you minus the Gemini mailers in the tape and bubble wrap, with $100.08. Still not that bad because I still have listed 11 or 25 minus 11. I have 14 books up on eBay that are Department of Truth number one. So my return from those books is going to be 300 plus dollars, which would put my grand total to $400 if I can sell all those books, which is fantastic. A a $400 return on investment is incredible. That is totally worth the win for me. Now, let's take a step back. I've also invested in other books. Uh, Berserker number one. I mainly invested in this book because my shop was doing a raffle. Um, every issue of cop or every copy of issue number one, cover A that you bought, you were entered into a raffle to win the one in 500. Um, sadly, I did not win it, but um, I have four copies of this. Um, I invested a couple. I bought two extra copies of the Joker because it's a Joker. Joker number one. You never know. This is probably a long-term investment, but it's some more money I invested. I bought five extra copies of non-stop Spider-Man. It's a Spider-Man. It's a new series. It's number one. I don't know. I got wrapped up in the height. I don't think this is going to go anywhere. I'll probably take a loss on this, but that's some more money I invested. I invested a little bit in Noctura. I bought four extra copies of this. I love um, Scott Snyder and 
Tony S. Daniel. I think this is a great team. I think this book could be optioned for a TV show down the line. I think it's a really cool concept, but we'll see again, another long-term investment. The one book I think I might see a uh, return on pretty quickly is Batman 106. Um, I bought four extra copies from my shop and Borican was able to send me two extra copies. So I have six extra copies of this. This is going for on eBay right now for nine or eight ninety nine, and people are buying it, but I want to wait a little bit longer and see where, um, cause there's a cameo appearance, um, in this book. So if you take the amount of money that I've, um, spent on those books, uh, which is a hundred dollars and 79 cents, I am now negative money before I sell my other, um, Department of Truth books. So, um, as you can see, this is kind of like a waiting game because some of these books you do need to sell before you actually see the return on investment. So, um, this is a total learning game for me. So, uh, technically right now, I am negative money. I am negative, uh, actually, 71 cents, which isn't too bad. I'm negative 71 cents, but I do have some uh, books that are going to return money on me, uh, running money, money on me, raining money, uh, money to me, which is great. Um, and those, most of those are probably going to be long-term investments, especially Berserker. Who knows if that Keanu Reeves movie is going to be made? Uh, Noctura, Nonstop Spider-Man, which is probably going to be a wash. The same with the Joker. But you never know. Some of these things you really just need to sit on and wait. Uh, but yeah, I'm having a great time doing this. Um, and I do want to show you guys one other thing because um, this has uh, got me looking through my collection and other things that I can sell. Now, again, this is money that I invested recently or in the past, but let me show you guys something real quick. Hold on. So you guys can see these are a lot of comic books. Now, some of these books um, I actually pulled from my personal collection um, that are key. Some are big keys, some are minor keys. Uh, I went to a couple tag sales. Um, these books up here are actually from, Stephanie and I did some digging at an antique shop that we found that is right across the street from my local LCS. Um, some $1 wins um, right here. There is the books that I picked up at the tag sale that is probably gonna be a little bit of a loss, but uh, I'm still gonna be able to move these books. This is all money um, that I'm going to um, be able to make back from money that I spent. And a lot of the stuff is way in the past that I spent, so I'm gonna make a big, um, hopefully return on that and one of the bigger ones is let me show you guys is this one this book right now is really really hot it's going for a hundred plus dollars this is um a big book right now so i'm really really excited about that so um it's all just part of the fun i really am enjoying going down into my collection and finding what books i'm going to be able i could flip not going to be but i could flip to you guys my community the comic book community the best community that there is so this is all just a learning process again i'm giving you guys all the information I'm being very upfront and transparent and clear with you guys because again um maybe this isn't a good racket for me to make a little extra money because right now i am negative money is there a chance to be positive 100 percent but yeah i think that's gonna do it for this video guys i want it to be short quick sweet investment money in comics. Can you make money? Yes. Is it probably gonna be a lot more difficult than I thought? Yeah, it sure is. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.